it's really about the aftermath of being in the pop industry. What happens when everything is not so shiny? What happens when there is an issue? Okay, so what do we have today? Um, another Korean drama recipe, which we all love so, so much. So uh, I just finished watching Duna, played by the lovely Susie Bay on Netflix. And if you just read like the little synopsis and the little blurb, you're not really gonna get what the true story is about. They, they talk about, you know, like, oh, a former K-pop idol that falls in love with this boy. And it's not what this story is about. I think it does the series uh, really big injustice if we just leave it at that. So let me give you the little the little 411 first before we get to, you know, where exactly is this recipe from? What episode was it? Uh, yada yada. So uh, pretty much those that follow the K-pop industry know that Korea is actually, uh, it's one of those countries that manufactures their pop uh, their pop singers, their pop groups. To some degree, all countries kind of do that, but what I mean is Korea has, um, you know, these, these major companies that have these auditions for young kids and then they, you know, bring talent in at quite a young age. They put together the groups and then from then on, you might have to, you know, live away from your family, you live in dormitories and you sing together, you act together, you dance together and it, becomes like a little little factory for K-pop singers. And so naturally people can see the, the abuses that can happen when you're so young, you're being plucked away from home, you have all of these pressures to answer to. Things like, you know, what is your weight? How do you look? How do you dress? Should you be skinnier? Should you look different? You know, that can happen obviously when you're young and there is this authority figure different abuses can happen there too. We can see that from, you know, coaches, from sports players, uh, and it's, it's never good. Like, I think the one thing that parents should always remember to teach their kids when they're young is <sighs> you shouldn't always respect authority. There are different issues with that, right? Obviously you want your kids to be well-behaved, but when you teach them to respect authority regardless, that's when you have the different abuses that can happen because just because a person is older than you, you, you need to always question their motive, right? Why are they saying this to me? Why are they doing this to me? What is this for? What do I do for them, right? And so uh, from this story, you can see, uh, it's really about the aftermath of being in the pop industry. What happens when everything is not so shiny? What happens when there is an issue? Do they stand by you? You know, what happens to you as a person? And so it is actually quite, uh, it can be quite complicated. Uh, Susie Bay does a really good job of having this air to her, this this mood of, of, of Duna. And so where this judging man comes from, I think it was episode four. Duna was having a late night dinner with the male lead and she was just asking, you know, like, what are your goals in life? Like, what, what did you want to do? Um, and he was just like, well, you know, having dinner with you, like kind of at this late hour with somebody who, you know, is famous and, and whatever, um, you know, that, that, that seems to be a win for me. We're going to try to make this as whole food plant based as possible. And I'll, I'll show you how I did that. Uh, the big thing is to get something called chunjang. So it's this Korean black bean paste. And I would say, uh, out of everything, it is the most, it is the most non whole food, but I'm going to put this up on a new ingredient Monday. I will describe the flavors to you if you can't find it. And we're going to make a whole food plant-based version because uh, for me in my area, I was not able to get the best one. Like a lot of these have a lot of additives to it. So we're going to go through that on a new ingredient Monday. And then I will show you a couple different ways of how to get this same flavor.
have potatoes here that I've just cooked and I was thinking you could use normally what I uh, do which is like um, like buckwheat flour or millet flour just like a grain like a whole grain turned into flour but I also thought because sometimes people also put uh, potatoes inside the jajangmyeon so I thought okay let me show you a whole food plant-based way of just thickening up stocks, thickening, uh, thickening up stocks, thickening up um, sauces to just mash it up and then we're going to add it to our sauce and then it's just going to thicken up that way from the starches from the potatoes. Okay, so as with uh, oil-free cooking, make sure to just have a little pitcher of either water or stock by your side. What I'm going to do to bring in a little bit of richness is to just add a little bit of tahini to start it off. So we're gonna uh, kind of toast up the tahini, toast up the uh, black bean paste. We're just going to toast it up just to get some of the nice flavors out. Uh, I have some Lebanese tahini here. Uh, just because sometimes they end up putting a little bit of sesame oil um, in these noodles. So I'm just going to go ahead, substitute for tahini. I'm actually going to go in with our onions first. And then I have some garlic, minced garlic. Just a little bit of water first. Get that going. Great. Okay. Put in your protein of choice. that coated, some good flavor. Just a little bit of date sugar. A tad of miso or uh, soy sauce, you can do that too. zucchini, add in our cabbage, and then now just water. I'm just going to bring that up to a boil and then I just want the vegetables to cook down so that they're just soft enough to eat. So it's best to pair it with some thick noodles and obviously uh, if it's more whole food the better. So uh, you can do whole wheat noodles, you can do buckwheat noodles. I kind of found this one that was a mix of wheat and millet. I couldn't find the 100% millet one but uh, kind of do your best to see if you can, you know, try out different noodles made from different grains. Uh, it could be beans, like bean pasta is really nice, so I know that they make like a bean, like a bean spaghetti. And that might be something nice to try here too.
ingredients there are, this really works. It's so easy. Try a piece of the tofu. Mm. I mean, it's lighter. It's not, it's not like meat, right? But it has picked up that flavor subtly. Which is actually quite nice. Mm. 